Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this video is a uh, personal finance video describing how to uh, how to do a budget in Microsoft Excel. Um, you'll notice up here on the uh, upper left hand side that I have the, that the actual month that I'm budgeting. This is important because every month should be a different budget. Um, you should tell your money where to go each month and uh, just because your money goes one place in a certain month doesn't mean it's going to go the same place. So anyway, um, and you'll also notice that I have this color coded. Uh, this is just my uh, personal preference to color code things. Green is income, red is uh, expenses, and blue is savings. Um, and again, these, these are not my numbers. Um, this is just an example. So in, let's say in a particular household, we have uh, two incomes. Um, two incomes, husband and wife, as listed here. Um, what I have, what I did down here is I basically summed up this column. So you'll notice here equals sum B5 through B20. So that's all of this. Um, expenses, same thing here. And I summed all of those up. Savings there, I summed all of those up. So in theory, um, you know, your total, what you take home, subtract your expenses, subtract your savings, um, gives you a balance. And, and in this example, um, there is a $41 leftover balance. In theory, you should aim for a zero-based budget. Um, this means that at the end of the month, this number, your balance should be zero. So in this, in this case, this $41 can be applied somewhere in here, either expenses or savings. Um, I could, maybe I could beef up the savings account. So I just hit 241, gives me a zero balance. You'll also notice that um, these cells are uh, conditional formatting. And I went over that in a, another video that I will link down in the, in the description. But conditional formatting just means if if uh, the balance goes below zero, it'll turn red. So like if I uh, if I um, for other shopping instead of 150, if I did 200, that'll turn red. Um, and if it's uh, above zero, it'll turn green. Leftover. So green is good. Red is bad. Essentially. Also, you'll notice down here is my emergency fund. Um, I like to follow Dave Ramsey and he says you need between three to six months in your emergency fund. Well here, I what I did here is I uh, did a function and I did my total expenses, so E21, this cell here, uh, times three, which is three months worth, and then times six. So it, I, my emergency fund needs to be somewhere between these two numbers. Um, I also have my retirement, uh, percent retirement. Uh, right now I'm doing 16%, other savings, and then all percent all savings. Uh, this is just a good way of um, you know, knowing what percentage your money is going to retirement and where to drive that. Um, but anyway, uh, there's my example. I hope this works out just in, in review. Um, list all of your incomes here, uh, sum them up. All of your expenses here, sum that up. All of your savings here, sum that up. This will equal your total income, subtract your expenses, subtract your savings, What's essentially what's left over. And then this will let you uh, plan where to throw that leftover money. Again, you should, th you should throw that somewhere so that you end up with a zero at the end. Um, so let's, uh, I don't know what to do. Let's, let's make it a vacation. So instead of 300, we'll do 350. And there you go. Uh, this is a, this is the, this is a foundational tool in, uh, determining, um, your overall wealth. And it really is, it's, it's not really restrictive. Um, it's a, you know, you're telling your money where to go. And on the expense side, this is giving you permission to spend, you know, 600 on groceries, 200 on eating out, um, you know, etc. It's, it's giving yourself permission to spend that money. I hope this helps. Uh, stay tuned for more.